Hi everyone. What we're going to do is today take the examples around trains. Now, trains that is trains moving in same direction, opposite direction, one train crossing each other, train crossing a bridge. These are very common questions asked in all entrance exams. But before you do this, I would recommend that you should see the uh, our video on relative speed. Only once you've seen that well will you understand this concept also well. Let's take the first example around this. The Amar Mail, a newly commissioned train, is 600 meter long. It travels at a steady speed of 72 km per hour. So, this is a train which is 600 meter long. It is traveling at a spe steady speed of 72 km per hour. How long will it take to completely pass a lamp post by the side of the railway track? Now, let's understand this concept well. The train has to cross the pole, the whatever the lamp post which is there the, on the side of the railway track, it has to cross that. Now when the train has to cross that, what is the distance I need to consider? I need to consider only the length of the train. So please remember in questions around train, the length of the train is very, very important. So the Amar Mail, which was 600 meter long, is traveling at a speed of 72 kilometer per hour. One more thing if you notice in the sum is that distance is given in 600 meters while speed is 72 kilometers per hour. We'll have to convert the 72 kilometer per hour. So let's see all that. We know formula for time is distance upon speed, so that's not a problem. The 72 kilometer per hour, if I want to convert to meter per second, I need to multiply by 5 by 18 and hence it will become 20 meter per second. What will be the time taken? Time taken will be 600 meters, that is the distance we will consider. See, the train has to cross the lamp post which means it has to cover its own length. So 600 meters divided by 20, which is the speed, and hence it will take 30 seconds. So that was a straightforward question on trains. Let's take the next example. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the same example ahead with case two. So the same train, 600 meter long, traveling at a speed of 72 kilometer per hour. How long will it take to completely cross a bridge, which is 900 meters long? Now the train has to cross the bridge which is 900 meter long. So we are crossing one stationary body which is having some concrete length. So what is the total distance I need to take in this case? The length of the train I have to take still plus I have to take the length of the bridge also which is 900 meters. We know that time is distance upon speed. We have converted the the speed that is 72 km per hour to meter per second multiplied by 5 by 18. What will be the total distance to be considered? 900 plus 600. This is the important part in this question. Let's go through that again. The length of the train which was 600 plus the bridge 900. Both will have to be considered and hence the total distance to be covered will be 1500 meters. Time taken will be 1500 upon 20 which will be 75 seconds. So that was the second example. Let's look at one more example. Same train again, so we are not going through the basic part again. How long will it take for a car traveling at 108 km per hour, which is faster than the train, on a road parallel to the track in the same direction to completely overtake the train? So the car, whenever we talk about a car, we say the car does not have any major length because the length of the car is very small compared to the length of the train. So we consider that as negligible unless clearly mentioned. So here we are going to consider the le uh, length of the car as negligible. The speed of the car was 108 while the speed of the train was 72. So here I will have to start looking at relative speed. Time again is distance upon speed. What will be my relative speed? It will be 108 minus 72. Why did that become 108 minus 72? Why not plus? Because they were moving in the same direction. So 108 minus 72 is 36 km per hour. Do the conversion 36 into 5 by 18 will become 10 meter per second. What is the length of the or what is the distance we need to consider? If you think logically only one body is having length here, which is that body? The train. So hence our time taken will be 600 divided by the relative speed that is 10, which is 60 seconds. Let's take the next example. How long will the train take? to completely pass the Prem Express. So there's one more train, which is 300 meters long, stopped at a station. Now, if you think this is exactly the same sum which we did the bridge, 
whether it has crossing it is crossing the bridge or it is crossing the other train which is stationary the sum should not change so let's quickly go through that the total distance to be considered will be 600 plus 300 900 meters speed is 72 into 5 by 18 which is 20 meter per second and hence time taken will be 900 divided by 20 45 seconds nothing much in this question let's take the last question of this type the Amar mail again 600 meter long traveling at a speed of 72 km per hour how long will it take to completely pass the Prem Express if the latter that is the Prem Express is moving in the same direction at 36 km per hour so this is very similar to the car wala example where the car had to overtake the train here the Amar mail has to overtake the Prem Express so again relative speed important part for me is same direction total distance will become 900 this time because this time the second body also has a length so 600 is the length of the first train 300 is the length of the second train and hence the total distance is 900 relative speed will become 36 kilometers per hour 72 minus 36 because it is same direction convert that to meter per second 36 into 5 by 18 becomes 10 meter per second time taken will be 900 divided by 10 90 so if you now go through these concepts you know we're going to take one more example but, but if we go through all these concepts if there are two bodies traveling you have to take the length of both the bodies and if there are two bodies traveling then you have to take the relative speed that is the whole idea on these in these questions last example this time the prem express is moving in the opposite direction that's the only change so what will happen the relative speed will become 36 plus 72 instead of minus it will become 72 plus 36 which will be 108 convert that to meter per second 108 into 5 by 18 will become 30 meter per second time taken will be total distance that is again 900 divided by 30 30 seconds so the important thing for you to remember in all questions around the trains whenever distance is to be considered it will be length of the first train plus length of the whatever the second body is and the speed will always be relative speed